Hello Mares, this is Blocks. Welcome back to Should You Build It? Today's park is the Dumpling Market, that first appeared in-game alongside the other Lunar New Year content in early 2016. It's a cute little, partially covered market area with a central walkway and lanterns down the middle above your sims' heads that we also see in the other similarly themed Lunar New Year parks too. From the menu we can see that it gives us a 6x10 area of boost for a low 10% population bump at a cost of 12,000 simoleons, exactly the same statistics as the snack market, but this one is an IOS exclusive park. Over on the roads grid we can see it's another of the small 1x2 parks with the front of the park against the road here being one end of the central path in the middle of the market. Turning it around you can see that the dumpling market looks similar from most angles but there are some important details that make it stand out as well. Zooming in a little you can see the different coloured produce on the market stalls and the covered areas have got slightly different roof shapes and slopes which break up the look from above. And because of the attention to detail, it's easy to pair the dumpling market with the snack market and the red lantern walkway to create a great little themed area which your sims could visit to do some shopping on their weekends. You can clearly see the end-to-end -end dumpling markets in the middle here which provide a good central focus and because they are flipped around, they look both different and similar within the overall theme. Let's head over to a time lapse now while we ask the question, should you build it? The Dumpling Market is a great little park to look at and priced at 12,000 simoleons it's a fairly decent purchase. But you do only get a 10% population boost which isn't great, but it does cover a reasonable 6x10 area. So it has some positives and negatives and I think when deciding on a park like this we need to look closer at the detail and consider how it fits in our own cities. On that point the dumpling market really wins out because it has a flexible look which you can flip around and turn into a themed area really easily. You get a great look with this park and it really shines when paired with itself or the snack market in a careful arrangement. And for those reasons I think it's one of the better parks from the Lunar New Year content. Should you build it? It's a yes. That's going to do it for this video Mares. And I'll leave you with an image here of a few dumpling markets while I remind you that if you need to earn and save simoleons to buy parks and buildings, then head over to my masterclass video after this one and learn all about how I made my first million simoleons. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you back here next episode.